a warm welcome to an talk today i fatima shabana student of jain university school of science bangalore is going to present a topic on forensic pharmacology so today i am going to discuss about a brief introduction about what what is forensic pharmacology and what is pharmacology its basic principles scopes classification and examples drug levels in human blood and finally conclusion yes what do you mean by pharmacology so pharmacology is a branch of medicine which concerned with the uses effects and modes of actions of drugs when we come to forensic pharmacology it is having a correlation between forensic medicine toxicology and pharmacology now what do you exactly mean by forensic pharmacology so forensic pharmacology is a branch of forensic science which is and determination of drug effects use or abuse and its duration of action for the medical legal process is known as forensic pharmacology so now we are going to discuss about different aspects of forensic pharmacology so first is doping what do you mean by doping doping is an unlawful use of drugs to enhance or to inhibit the performance of an athlete uh, resources etc next forensic pharmacokinetics so forensic pharmacokinetics means it is a study to help to detect and determine the concentration level of toxicants which mean by the drugs or the poisons which is present in a sample for the forensic investigation now next drug abuse as we all know that drug abuse is an excessive use of psychoactive drug what do you mean by psychoactive drug for example alcohol barbiturates anesthetics opiates opium these are the some examples of word uh, like a uh, pharmaco sorry uh, psychoactive drugs next we are going to uh, look uh, another aspects like forensic pharmacovigilance forensic pharmacovigilance it is a science and activities which is related to the detection assessment understanding and prevention of adverse effects of drugs or poison next we are going to discuss about the basic principles of forensic pharmacology the first principle is to determine the use of common drugs or poison like its role to cause the death or injury or illness to a corresponding human being next one is to like a key concept related to the post mortem toxicology like uh, what led that human body to get into death or which kind of death uh, which kind of poison or which kind of drug causes them to be uh, caused to death injury or illness etc and the third one is understanding of drug action including pharmacokinetics principles and the psychological and sorry physiological and cellular underpinning of different pharmacological effect the second last one is uh, which mean is that it will also aid in choosing the best techniques for gathering toxicological information from different biological samples and the last one which means that uh, like the expansion of uh, expansion of the function of the biological variables in both individual and selective pathogenicity pathogenicity which means like uh, the property of causing death may also be helpful next we're going to look on the scopes the scopes of forensic pharmacology some of them are drug interaction chemical hazards crimes under the influence of drug drug abuse drug overdosing and doping the next one is the scope of forensic pharmacologist the main scope are to analyze access review and to support the position of an attorney to provide a well written report to his or her whether uh, their review is positively supports the case testify in case of a trial to explain the findings in court help the attorneys in preparation for cross examination of expert on the opposite side 
the last two statement which comes under uh, information ev- uh, sorry indian evidence act uh, 45 section 45a uh, which uh, explaining the expert testimony expert testimony which means uh, one who having scientific knowledge in their uh, specialization field now we are going to discuss about the classifications of drugs and its examples. There are different classifications of drugs. Some of them are CNS stimulants. CNS stimulants which indicates uh, uh, the full form is uh, central nervous system stimulants. Uh, stimulants means those drugs or those poisons uh, which accelerates the heart rate and elevate the blood pressure. Yeah, it will over stimulate the body some of the examples are cocaine heroin marijuana tobacco amphetamines etc next cns depressants as the word indicate it will slow down this kinds of uh, drugs will slow down the operation of the brain and the body some of the examples are alcohol nicotine cocaine caffeine uh, barbiturates etc Next is hallucinogens. Hallucinogens are like uh, the drug which causes the user to perceive things differently in a different manner. Like actually them they actually are. So some of the examples of this category will be MDMA. MDMA is also known as Molly, LSD, uh, lysergenic acid etc. And next comes the dissociative drugs. Uh, dissociative drugs means uh, dissociative uh, drugs it is also known as dissociative anesthetics it is used for the medical uh, medical purposes for the anesthesia purposes and it will inhibit pain by cutting off or dissociating the brain's perception of pain some of the examples are ketamine uh, cold medicines etc now it comes uh, inhalants inhalants means dro- those drugs which include a wide variety of breathable substances that produce mind altering results and its effect some of the examples are toluene uh, chloroform plastic cements paints hair spray etc next we come to drug levels in human blood yeah Forensic pharmacologists can access, examine blood sample to determine whether it is having, whether a human body is having a high and borderline doses, signs of toxicity, a lack of therapeutic effect or the suspected case of poor adherence, alterations in both post-mortem and anti-post-mortem blood levels. Next is to monitor the narrow therapeutic range of different drugs such as digosin, lithium theophyll yes now we come to an end now in india when scientific knowledge and concepts are increasing and changing forensic pharmacology gives us a uh, indian pharmacologist a change to investigate brand new areas of study also it will give forensic investigation in india additional resources and an entirely new perspective Thank you.